For months now, we've been eating at home. But slowly, the restaurants are starting to open back up and it's time for a little refresher in how to calculate a tip. Have you forgotten how to calculate a tip or have you always struggled with how to calculate that tip in your head? Coming up, we'll be looking at how to calculate a good tip for your server without a calculator. I know that you're not used to seeing financial literacy videos on this channel, but one of my popular videos in the last couple of years has been how to make and count back change. And that's because that's something we all need to be able to do. We also all need to be able to calculate a generous tip for our server at the restaurant. You know, the server's wages are almost 100% dependent upon the tips that they make. So we want to be fair and we want to be generous. Because I've seen regular people struggle with calculating tips in restaurants, even flipping their receipt over, trying to do some math, multiplication on the back. I thought it would be good to teach you a way to figure a tip quickly in your head without having to do a whole lot of math on paper. So let's just jump right in. Here you see a receipt from a recent uh, restaurant meal that my husband and I had, and it was for breakfast, as you can see, and the total came to $23.81. It does say at the bottom, gratuity is not included, which means it doesn't include the tip, and most of the time, your receipts in a restaurant are not going to include your tip unless you're in a large party. So you need to be able to figure out a tip. The first thing you want to do is round that tab up to the nearest dollar. Round it up, don't be a cheapskate, and round it down. So $23.81 rounds up to $24. It's very easy to figure 10% of anything. All you do is drop the last zero. So 10% of $24 is $2.40. And because it's customary to leave a 20% tip minimum in a restaurant, you would just multiply that $2.40 by two to make it a 20% tip. Well, there is still some calculating involved there, but it's a lot easier than trying to figure out what's 20% of $23.81. Now, there is a speedier way to do tips, and I think that in a way this is even more generous than just your regular 20% tip. And that is basically just kind of memorizing these four groups that tips can fall into. If your tab is between $1 and $10, a tip of $2 is appropriate. You realize that's a tip 20% of $10. Even if your tab is $5 or $6, I would at least leave a $2 tip. If your tab is between $11 and $25 in this speed method, your tip would be $5. If your total tab comes to between $25 and $50, leave a $10 tip. And if your tab is between $50 and $100, a $20 tip would be a great tip for your server. And then if you have a bill over $100, you just, um, you know, for instance, $112, you just add the tip for between $50 and $100 to the tip for between 11 and 25, so that would be a $25 tip. So you can see that in some cases this is a, quite a generous tip, in some cases it's just the 20%, but it's never less than 20%, and it's super easy to figure, especially if you've got a table full of kids or if you're in a hurry, then this speed method will work for you, and it's generous. This same method works for figuring out a tip for your hairdresser, or a taxi driver, or anybody else that you want to leave a tip for. So there you have it. An easy way to calculate a tip or a speed method that all you have to do is memorize.